Hello again lads, uh, Rob here from Kickback Garage. Today I'm going to talk to you about a little part that I've got through the post. And uh, it's a little bit exciting actually, even though it's very simple. So uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee, or in my case a whiskey, and uh, I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. All sprung in log of villa come under talk. In your novice mark out to other forty frog for what to do or draw. Can we phone can a sudden come at the husband to come so we are the brother of summer? Right, in this episode I wanna talk to you a little bit about filters. Now, because I'm a hardcore scooterist, I don't use filters. <laughs> I've never used filters. I, I did have a little period when I tried to uh, uh, put filters on my carbs, but I was there was a lot of messing around. Uh, there was squashing against the panels. I was cutting holes in the panels. Uh, oh, I, I couldn't get them jetted in properly, and uh, I was messing around loads. So in the end, I just gave up, and I don't use filter on my carbs. Now I haven't had much problem with that, to tell you the truth. But I was trolling uh, Facebook the other week and I saw this uh, poor chap called Simon who on a brand new BGM kit on his way to a rally, while he was running it in, he managed to get a stone <laughs> up his footboards and threw the cob into the barrel and completely destroyed the whole uh, cylinder kit. Uh, I've got, I found the pictures, they're up here. I hope you don't mind me uh, using them Simon, but here they come. Now that is nasty, and that's got me thinking. I, I really uh, would be disappointed if I was on the way to a rally, and uh, that happened to me, and, and with a brand new kit as well. So, I was looking around on the old internet, and I bought something that I'm a bit skeptical to. Um, if you look at the pictures of them on uh, the website, then they don't really look like much, and I've actually got it in my hand here. And this is, the MB T-strainer filter. Can you see that? Now, it probably does a good job of uh, straining tea, so maybe that's also a plus, uh, plus point there. So this little gadget, after looking at it, uh, I think it's actually a quite good product for people like me that don't like messing around with jetting because it uh, breathes really well it is made up of uh, a rubber band that goes around here. It's got quite a, a wide mesh at the front and it's sandwiched with the wide mesh at the back and it's got a very, very fine mesh in the middle. And now you probably won't be able to see that uh, properly on the GoPro there, but, but trust me, the, the good thing about that is it, it's pretty hard. And apart from the fact that it'll stop uh, big stones and stuff like that, it will stop quite a bit of uh, smaller particles. Now, this is nowhere near as good as a foam filter for uh, taking out all the particles that are going to be sucked into your carb. But it will take more than you think, I reckon. And the nice thing about that is uh, because it breathes so well, if you're on, like, on the on the rich end of the scale, you might have to go down a slight tad on your jetting, but that's it. And another beauty about this is it fits really nicely under your panels. I'll show you that in a minute. And it's very easy to wash. The difference between the two kits that, that are on the website, uh, MB Developments, are you can buy just this outer ring with the gauze already fitted, or you get the one that has the bell mouth already pressed in. Now, if you have lost your bell mouth, then that's pretty handy. And the kit with the bell mouth, the plastic bell mouth, uh, that costs 31 pounds. I think it's 31 pounds 20 or something, but we'll, we'll, round, up the num we'll round up the numbers. Um, and uh, the one that comes without the bell mouth uh, screwy bit uh, just costs 23 pounds. So. Thinking about it, I reckon it's a pretty good deal, to tell you the truth, because uh, it gives you a slight bit of um, 
reassurance that you're not going to get the big stuff down your carb and uh, it's easy to fit, easy to wash. So we'll have a go at fitting this and uh, we'll have a look how the clearance is. Right folks, I've got you on the wobbly cam here. I'll try and keep it as steady as possible, but hopefully because I've got this new fancy uh, LED lighting system going on here, I should uh, get pretty good footage of this. Now as you see, it's just a simple case of threading this. Now, there you go. Perfect. The nice thing about that is that it uh, doesn't get squashed by the panels. You've got just enough room so that uh, you get air in there. Now the reason why I think I've gotten away with that sort of stuff over the last couple of years is the fact that you can see the football goes right into the motor here on, on the Series 2s and I'm on Series 1 and 2. I've uh, been on those for the last 15 years really. and. But you can see that it will give you a little bit more reassurance and the fact that you don't have to mess around with the jetting and the fact that it's uh, easy to take put on and take off and uh, give a clean is just a bonus for me right so even though i was dubious about this when i first saw it on the internet uh it did the post from simon it really did give me uh food for thought and this should give you quite a bit more reassurance and easy to maintain basically so uh, I think I'll give this uh, product uh, yeah, because it's not as good as a, a foam filter really if you can be bothered setting them up I'll give it a 9 out of 10 I reckon it's uh, pretty faultless and with the price of £23 if you've already got the bell mouth you can't really grumble at that can you uh, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna ride gravel roads and uh, Eat bits of, eat bits of pebbles, <laughs> like poor Simon did. Oh, I really feel sorry for the guy. Anyway, we'll uh, conclude this video right there. I don't think uh, we can talk much more about this. And uh, if you like my videos, give me the old thumbs up and do the old subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! <laughs>